Welcome back, friends. Home stretch. We should be in the classroom very soon. So um, I was lucky enough to get a call from the librarian today that said there was a collection of stories written by Tana Holbin, um, the author of yesterday's story that was larger and smaller. You might have already checked out in Flipgrid. Um, she writes wordless books for us to use our imagination and our critical thinking and all those big word skills. I organized them by things that we talk about in our classroom. So we compared with our graphing today in our live lessons. And yesterday we looked at larger and smaller things. This is more, fewer, and less. More, fewer, and less. Describing words. Um, so your challenge, if you're using this in Flipgrid, because more, see the matching? More starts with this letter, letter M, makes a M sound. I want you to see how many times I say a word that starts with an M. Um, and then you can write it down on your dry erase marker, um, on your dry erase board, your paper. Uh, you can tell me with a video or an audio clip and then just add that to your folder when you're done. So if you're cozy and you're ready to begin, this was dedicated to Mila. Nice, short and sweet, doesn't tell us why. She took a photograph. This is a photograph of chickens on a farm. And the topic is more, fewer, and less. Hmm. Are there more chickens inside the barn or more chickens outside? Can you see them past the wire? I see two on the outside. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten beaks in the front, but it looks like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 all together in the back. Oh, what do you see in this picture? A collection of scissors. I wonder if there are more red scissors or gold scissors. We have a few back here. These look fewer than the amount that might be in here when we estimate or we guess. Estimating means just looking at like that guess, but if we were to count them, we would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine scissors in a red bag. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 red ones outside of the bag. Are there more or fewer large scissors or scissors in the, um, in the bag? Did you notice I said more again? That's twice. We have a collection of shells. I see. Um, these are bivalves of some sort, not a sea star and not a clam, but um, a top and a bottom. And there are one, two, three of those. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one of these other shells. Do you think there are fewer Large shells or small shells? Fewer means less or smallest amount. Ooh. A flower cart with a man pushing it. On the cart, there are roses that are pink, roses that are red, roses that are yellow. Do you think there are less yellow or less pink? The collection of cars at the junkyard is so interesting. You could look at the colors or the shapes or the wheels. What, what springs out to this picture for me was the number of green cars. Let's count the green cars together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if there are more green cars than yellow cars, because when I count the yellow cars, I see one and two. Which number would be more? Ooh, 
clothes that are rose, tan, yellow, and magenta. Magenta is a pinkish red. Do you think there are more magenta or more yellow? We could count them, or you could use your fingers and look at the space that they take up in the picture. Give me an estimate or a prediction. Opposite that page is a building, and part of that building is painted green. One of the doors is painted blue. Green, blue, and beige are the colors that I see. When I look at the two doors really closely, I see the blue one has one, two, three, four windows. The green door has one, two, three, four, five, six windows. I wonder which door has less windows. And it means not the most. <gasps> I said another M word, didn't I? We have some critters, and I believe they are ducks because I see webbed feet. I see a bill. They're drinking water. And I'm wondering how we could compare more, fewer, and less. Do you think there might be more ducks that have white necks or more ducks that have gray necks? When you look at the picture, and I know it's hard, this is a glossy hardcover book, so it's hard to see the picture sometimes, but some, like this one and this one, have a gray neck, but this one in the water is white, as is this one and this one and that one. Do you have your guesses? Ooh, a pumpkin patch with a tractor full of pumpkins and gourds and squashes. I wonder if there are more pumpkins or squash. And if I push this really close, you'll see some small corn. It looks like the corn is fewer in number than the pumpkins. The pumpkins are so many, they can't be counted. Someone has been baking bread. We have two pieces that are pulled in half and one, two, three, four, five whole pieces of bread. Are there more whole pieces or more half pieces? The larger number would have more. So we have the number two and you can make the number two with your fingers and you can make the number five with your fingers. Think about which one has more. Our sheep are in the pasture. Are there more on this side or more on that side? If you were to cut it right in half, I see one, two. We could even say this guy for the third. And then the other side, one, two, three, four, five, back there. What side has the fewest or the smallest number? Three or five? <gasps> Shoes! I see loafers and boots and Mary Janes. All sorts. Use your imagination and think of something you could describe the picture as having more or fewer or less. When I look closely at this one, I noticed there are less green shoes than there are blue or red because the red and the orange and the shades of blue came right out at me. And then there was more red here, more red there, red here, and some blue next to the only pair of green. Green is my son's favorite color. And I was looking for purple, but the green shot right out. 
When you look at this picture, which is a piece of art, what might you notice about the fish? Can you tell your big person something that uses the word more or fewer? Oh, look at this vegetable. There are seeds on the inside. There are two pockets of seeds. Would you think that there are more on the first side or the second side? <gasps> Bunches of cups in a container. I wonder if there are fewer yellow or fewer red. I could make a prediction and make a guess. If I wanted to make sure my prediction was right, I would count them. And I usually count them in rows so I can stay organized. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen in the first two, fourteen, fifteen, because there's two in the third row. And one in this row makes 16. Remember 16, and we'll see if there's more or fewer yellow once we count the red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. If we have 16 yellow, 17 red, we have more red. Are you losing count of how many M words I've said? If you have, that's okay. There's lots of M words because I'm saying the word more most often, even though I did say magenta, and I was thinking mollusks when we were looking at the snails. I have another challenge for you when you're finished if you'd rather draw something. Peppers are in this picture. Using the words more or fewer or less, you might think there are more peppers in the basket and fewer peppers on the side. When you look at the colors red and yellow and orange and green, you might think there are more green than red. The green ones are larger and they take up more space. Oh, a container with candy. There's so many pieces, we'd probably need to use a prediction. Do you think we could make a comparison based on colors like we have been? Or we could look really close. I spy with my little eye another container with candy. I might say there are much more uh, gumballs. That's what they look like to me. I'm not sure if that's the type of candy. Um, then I'm trying to think. This was a licorice flavored type of candy that someone would eat, but it wasn't my favorite, so I can't think of any. Maybe good and plenty. But I definitely would think there are more in this bin than in this part, at least in the picture. There's fewer pieces of this kind of candy. We have two baskets. It looks like they have unripe tomatoes, maybe from a farm stand. Do you think there would be fewer tomatoes in the small box or fewer tomatoes in the large box? Remember, fewer means less than. Cheeses, lots of different kinds of cheeses. If we were to count them, we might Count from the left to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven types of cheese. But look closely at this photograph. What do you notice right by my fingers? Something that people eat with cheese is a fruit called an apple. There are two apples that snuck into the cheese picture. Are there fewer apples or fewer pieces of cheese? Fewer is the word that means less. What's the smaller amount, two or seven? Huh, I wonder if there are more 
blue spoons or more red spoons in this basket? When you look with your eyes and you see all the blue spoons on the right and then the red spoons on the left, what would you think? Are there more blue or more, oh, I said more so many times, red spoons here? If you're keeping track of green things, this picture is very interesting. There's spinach and curly lettuce of some sort and sugar snap peas and uh, bell pepper and maybe basil. But we have lots of green things. And what could we say about more and fewer and less? They're all vegetables, but it appears to me that there are fewer pieces that are cut up than are whole, because these are all whole in their bunches. That was a tricky one for me. Did it stump you too? Well, if you look here, we've got avocados and nectarines. What an interesting comparison. I wonder if there are less avocados or less nectarines. You can count them if you'd like. If you look, you might see that the green avocados are larger, but something that helps me make an estimate on fewer and more and less is to try and make it in half. And when I push my fingers halfway down, I see there's lots of orange fruits, but there's lots of extra spaces over here. So my prediction would be that there is less avocado, more tangerine. Ooh, pots and pans that are yellow and red and some that are copper. Do you think there are more pans that have lids or more pans that are open? It looks like it's split right down the middle. A collection of hats you can say that are more or fewer or less because we have some in the front and some in the back. Which bin do you think is fuller? Baskets are on the next picture. We have the colors red and green. There are four green baskets. Do you think there are more or less green baskets than red? Five jars of spices? or something powdery. There are two that are blue, two that are yellow, and one that is orange. I wonder which color has the fewer bottles. Here we are with utensils. Um, looks like things we'd use in the kitchen. I wonder which collection has the fewest. It's hard to tell with so many. someone playing the keys on the piano. When you look at the keys, do you think there are fewer black or fewer white keys? Well, friends, thanks for exploring. I would love to see some artwork. She took lots of pictures. So if you're using an iPad um, or probably a phone, you could probably take a picture and put a circle around, you know, if you're comparing two things, like she set things up like in her kitchen. Like Kylie had lots of lemons. Um, you could put lemons next to your banana and circle the one that has fewer or something like that. You can get creative. You can draw me a picture. You can show me two things. Like we had two things larger and smaller, heavier and lighter yesterday. You can show me um, a collection, like on a tray, like we've been playing those um, hide and seek games. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thanks for listening to what turned out to be a very long story lesson. Stay well and we'll see you soon.